Hey, what's going on guys? Chris Travis here with Fandra.com. We are, uh, scored ourselves this little guy here. Maybe you've heard of it. It's the Yoda phone. Uh, two, actually. This is actually part two. And I just wanted to give you guys a quick unboxing so you guys can see what comes in the case. This is uh, uh, the model that's compatible with US band, so uh, it should play well with, um, with my carrier service. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and unbox it. You can see here it comes in this pretty snazzy little casing. PC Best Mobile Congress 2014. Um, doesn't actually say a two on it, so I'm wondering if it's not well, the actual original box, but one and a pretty fancy. Uh, over here, it looks like you have a little drawer. Oh, crap, I broke it. I broke it. I totally broke it. Um, pull this out. Ah. It looks like there would be some USB cables in here somewhere, I'm assuming. Uh, charger is also somewhere in here. <laughs> there it is. Um, so this is the charger. Ah. And it's a European charger, so yeah, this is definitely the European model. Um, what does it charge at? Uh, many output. Oh, just FYI, it, it is quick charge compatible, so it's one of the few Qualcomm devices, our devices powered by Qualcomm that uh, enables quick charging. Jumping over here, we got the SIM ejector, which is useful. We're taking out that SIM card, um, which is an interesting spot as well. And then we got some headphones, some little earbuds that are pretty cool looking. Not too bad at all. And the nice like fettuccine or linguine noodles. So there's that. Set that aside as well, and then here I've already I kind of um, have been charging the phone, and then I kind of went through the setup process just to see what that was about. So I've already kind of been through it, and you can tell here I just factory reset it because I wanted to show you guys um, the setup process and how it's a little bit different from what you might be used to from a normal Android device. And this is just the manual showing where all the buttons do in all 500 languages. But now that that's that. Um, done with. Let's go ahead and start the setup process real quick. We're going to skip the SIM insert thing. We're going to skip the Wi-Fi. Um, skip anyway. Oh, actually I can peel off this thing now because it's really been bothering me. And it's got a protective cover on the front and of course the back where the e-ink display is. It's kind of the phone's uh, claim to fl flame. <laughs> claim to fame. Oh yeah, oh, that feels so good. See here, nice matte back. Gorgeous, gorgeous looking phone here. Skipping ahead, uh, General Mountain Time, I'm Pacific, so let's go ahead and do that, and then uh, we'll do that later. Set it up later, but once you're here, and you can see here, right off the bat, um, as soon as you're done with the original or regular Android setup lizard, you have the Yoda cover and Yoda panel stuff that kind of just explains. Uh, Yoda cover protects your privacy, always displays something beautiful and shows notifications, and you have Yoda panel, which has a bunch of uh, widgets that just display varying types of information um, according to your interests. I will show you how to set up the always on screen. So turn the phone over, and what do you know? That, that is not the battery, I mean, it's the battery cover, but I mean, it's not just stagnant or static, it's actually interactive, so you can see a little arrow there, so unlock or press the power button, drag the lock up so it's like a standard lock, and that will unlock the back area, and then from here you can switch, so it just shows like a picture, or you can switch to the Yoda cover, which is this, to Yoda panel, which has all that fancy information that, um, that we saw on the setup. This is pre-configured Yoda panel. You can swipe left to right to see other panels so you can see the different types of information that it can show you. Oh, cool little screenshot function. Uh, Yoda will extend your battery life so there's um, some special software that's in here. It's mostly a stock Android experience but there is some Yoda battery saving things that they got going on. Um, swipe left to learn about widgets. So this is what it would look like if you're in the reader mode. Then you tap the reader and it goes full screen and you can read a book or the newspaper. This will go right back to Yoda panel. And great job, we're over. Remember that all the panel and covers are completely customizable via the Yoda Hub app on the color display. Turn the phone over.
And then here you can see the shortcut that normally goes to Google search. Uh, also has a couple of other options there as well. So um, you can start any application on the always on screen or you can take a screenshot, um, whichever you like. Now we're done, thank you. This is the Yoda Hub app, so it's right here, Yoda Hub app. And this is where you can customize some of the things there. And organize your space so you can see very much a stock Android experience. Nothing too crazy as far as UI goes, but there is um, kind of like how Motorola does it, but some specialty apps that Motor or Yoda Yoda makes. And if I jump into settings, let's see here. Pretty much standard, except there's a little setting here for the always on display, Yoda Hub, Yoda Energy settings. Um, and this can switch on automatically. You can have a custom limit the CPU frequency. I mean, there's a bunch of different stuff here. Turn off, so it's only GSM mode only, or 2G mode. Uh, you can just turn off cellular data if you want as well. Minimum brightness, all that fun stuff. So, some pretty cool stuff. And when, when that stuff's enabled, the Yoda energy settings, I mean, it can go, I think they said up to like a full week. Um, which is awesome. So I guess that's going to do it. That's a quick look at um, an unboxing of the Yoda Phone 2. Uh, the only phone that comes with a back 8-ink display uh, with Fandrew.com. I am Chris Chavez. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.